Hello everybody, Xargon Gaming here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. So as promised, here is another Christmas Mod Showcase, because, you know, Christmas time is coming around, and I promised to showcase three, and here is the second one. So today I'll be showcasing the Christmas Crafts Mod. This mod is somewhat similar to the one I showcased last week, except there are crafting recipes, which is really good, and there are a couple new features that are not in the previous mod. So let's get started. So here I have all my chests set up with all the recipes. And I built this really cheap house that you guys are probably already hating. <laughs> and the fire. Fireplace won't lit because it's too cold outside. Okay, so the first thing is if we head on outside the house. You can see these, I guess, they're called twinkle Christmas lights. You can tell they twinkle. You see these little sparks popping out. And you can just put them all around your house. They look really nice. You can see I have them all decorated. And here's my cheap house, by the way. So here are the crafting recipe. Well, here is the crafting recipe because there's only one. A redstone, a piece of glass, and a glowstone dust will get you eight of these. So you can just keep making this, and then you can just get a whole bunch of twinkling Christmas lights. So you can just shove them on. And it won't actually power on unless there is a source to power it. So I have levers right here I'm not sure why I'm not sure why that's not work so the next thing we're gonna look at is in this chest which are these red Christmas lights so I have them all around the house over here and to craft them you pretty much need one piece of redstone one piece of glass and on these I guess the third row you just put any piece of dye well this is not dye but you get the point you just put the dye and then you'll get the Christmas light color so for example if I put cactus green then I'll get green Christmas lights Lapis Azuli will give us blue Christmas lights and so on. So each will give you eight and like I said you can just keep repeating that. And of course you need a source so I have that and it turns it off and it turns it on. So that's that. And the next thing in this chest which are ornaments. So those are for decorating your Christmas trees. Just put them around your tree. I'm not sure if they actually work on things other than trees. Let me try that real quick. If I put one right there. Nope. So I assume it has to be on trees. So those are Christmas ornaments. Christmas tree ornaments. What you need is a glowstone dust, a piece of glass, and your color dye to make the specific color. And this time it will only give you four. So not as much as the Christmas lights, but it's still pretty cool. So in the next chest, we have this, which is the Christmas tree stand. Now what this does is it makes, it creates this Christmas tree right here. All you need is two cactus green, one spruce sapling, two pieces of wood planks, one dirt, and two red wool in a pattern like this to get this Christmas tree stand. And you also need some bone meal to go with it. So how this works is, I'll just head on out to the side to show you guys. Pretty much what you do is you just place this down and it looks like this. There's nothing to it. It's not growing on anything. So that's why you need some bone meal. You bone meal this and boom, voila. You have yourselves a really nice Christmas tree. And of course you need ornaments to decorate it with, so just go craft yourself some of those ornaments and you should be good. Okay, so the next thing is this, which is the decorative star. So if you look on top, I actually have a star right here, whereas the one outside doesn't actually have one. Right there, it doesn't have one. This one does. So to craft it, you'll need five pieces of gold nugget and one glowstone dust in the middle. And then you'll get this decorative star and you just put it on top of a tree. I'm, I'm pretty sure it can only go on top of... Yep, it can only go on top of leaves, so best put it on top of your Christmas tree. And that is how you make your Christmas tree look really nice. So now you can also make wreaths. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If I'm not pronouncing it correctly, well, then I'm dumb. So pretty much how it works is you can just put it somewhere like that, and then it looks really nice. I don't know why I didn't put it there before. When I was setting up this house, I think I had it there, but I just broke it down for some reason. Whatever. But to craft it, you'll need... That's... Eight oak leaves and a red wool in the middle. I, I don't know why I had to count this because, you know, that's the standard pattern for everything to make one wreath. So it's, I mean, it's not that expensive. You will need shears. So that's that. And the next one is a Christmas stocking. Now, this is when things start to get really interesting. To craft a Christmas stocking, you need one string. I have a texture pack. Well, I have my own texture pack, so that's why it's called yo-yo string because I'm a big fan of yo-yos and all that. But one piece of string... One wool and three red wool will get you a Christmas stocking. And how this works is what you do is pretty much put it somewhere 
like that, like that. And then when you sleep the next morning, it'll be filled with goodies. But before I do that, I need to move on to the next part, which are these Christmas gifts. So what you can do is if you're playing multiplayer with friends, because this mod does support multiplayer, you can actually give them gifts. So what you do is you put four pieces of string and four pieces of paper in a crafting table like this. And the center is what you want to give, I guess, your, your friend. So for example, let's say I want to give them a diamond sword. Yes, I'm very generous. So then I'll just put a diamond sword in, a craft, in the middle of the crafting recipe like this. And then out will pop one of these Christmas gifts. These are just the different types. It won't actually, you won't actually, you'll just get a random one. So it doesn't really matter. They're all the same. So let's put that in the middle. And you'll get one of these gifts. And you can actually place them down and they look like this. So I'll just grab that real quick. Like that, 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 and that. And now you might be asking, well, how do I actually claim my reward? Because there's not really nothing they can do with it. Well, what you do is, is if you head on into a crafting table, you can actually put them in the crafting table to get your gift. So here I have a diamond chest plate, diamond helmet, diamond boots, and diamond pants. So here we have a full set of diamond. And here I'm pretty sure just the same things. So I'll just get all this. And yeah, that's a, that's an awesome way to give your friends presents. And if they're if they've been mean to you, just give them coal, you know, because they deserve it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so now comes the part when you sleep. Now I'm going to set it to night real quick. Okay, there we go. So now when I go to bed, when I wake up, these stockings will be filled with these Christmas presents. So here we are, guys. We're going off to bed. I've been really good lately, so Santa's gonna give me gifts. And ooh, there it is. So just right click that, right click that, and we have ourselves two presents. So every single night you can just do that over and over again and just keep getting gifts. It's unlimited. You just keep sleeping and the next day you'll get gifts. So let's see what you have. We have a compass, okay, and an iron axe. Okay, so those are your gifts for the day and then you can just go to bed again. And I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go to bed again because that's just so much fun. Let's go to bed again. See what we can get this time. Okay, we got some presents. Break that off. Break that off. Head on into a crafting table. Coal. Oh, no, I've been bad this year. And <laughs> Iron Helmet. Okay, I guess that kind of balances it out. But yeah, that's the that's how the stocking works and the presents. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure we head on into the foods. Well, not yet. We have ice skates. So this is a sport you can do in Minecraft with this mod which is ice skating. All you need are two pieces of leather, one string, and two iron to make yourselves ice skates. And it's really weird because, here, let me head on into survival real quick. Game mode zero. And we will actually head outside to ice skate. So I have this piece of, well, not piece, but I have ice here. You put it on your legs. And you, if you're walking on land, you'll actually get this weird zoom in field of view here. So if I take that off, it becomes normal again, as you see. And if I put that on, you can tell it just goes nuts. So when we skate, our field of view is going to go insane. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And when we run, we're going to go so fast. Yeah, we're ice skating, people. We are ice skating. Yeah. <laughs> and let me. I'm going to turn this all the way up to Quick Pro. Oh, yeah, this is insane, people. Look at me. I don't know how to explain this. This is crazy. I'm like a superhero. I feel so fast right now. But yeah, that's the ice skates. They're quite fun. And you can just skate around really fast. Do whatever you want with them. And I'm just going to take them off. Now the next thing we have are these musical discs. So I'll just put these in my inventory. And you can actually hear different songs. So as you can tell, this one is Jingle Bells. This one is Carols of the Bell. And this one is We Wish You a Merry Christmas. So I'm just going to play all this real quick. So the first one is, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's that. And the next one is, Carols of the Bell, which is definitely my favorite.
La 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 la. I'll turn the sound up. Does that help? I don't think that helps at all. Nope, I completely screwed it up. Okay. Anyways, next song, which is Jingle Bells. This is a happy song. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit crazy here. I'm getting, getting too far with this. Okay, so we'll put all these music discs back into the chest. And the next thing we can craft are foods. So here we have two foods that require rest require ingredients from vanilla minecraft we have candy cane which which needs one rose red and three pieces of sugar and chocolate milk which needs one milk bucket and cocoa beans so what you can also do is if you grab this chocolate milk and put it in a furnish when you wait when this meter goes all the way it will become hot chocolate which has this i guess a smoke effect on the texture like so, you can tell that's definitely different. Oh yeah, I'm drinking hot cocoa on a cold day. Even though I can't drink it, whatever, I'm failing right now. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so those are the foods. And now, if we, we need to head on outside, because we have some friends to meet. These are creeper claws. So I spawn a whole bunch. And as you can tell right now, I'm actually on peaceful. And the reason they're spawning is because these are not actually hostile. They won't attack you, so... I'm in survival right now, they're not doing anything to me. I can walk up to them, they're all really friendly friendly and stuff. And here, and the reason why these are really important is because you need a special ingredient called Christmas Spices. So I have 64 right here. And to get Christmas Spices, you actually need to kill these. Yes, I know. They don't hit you and you have to kill them. Very unfortunate. But what you need is to kill them and they'll drop Christmas Spices and you can use that to craft your foods. So, what, what we can craft here are gingerbread cookies, eggnog, and fruit cake. So, for the gingerbread cookies, you need one Christmas spice, two wheat in a crafting table, and you'll get four gingerbread cookies, which you can eat, one egg, one milk bucket, and you can get eggnog. And then for fruit cake, two milk buckets, two melons, one egg, and three wheat for fruit cake. And I'm pretty sure you can place this down like cake. Oh yeah, it looks cool. And that is that. So, I'm just going to kill a little, kill some of these just to show you. How it looks, I guess. So I'm yes, I know I'm really I'm really brutal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It, ha it has to be done. It has to be done for for the viewers. I'm just gonna show you. Guys. I'm not gonna kill them all. You know, I'm I'm not that mean. Okay, but yeah, they they drop Christmas spices, and I'm I'm just gonna leave them. You know, I'm nice. I'm nice. You can thank me later. Christmas present. You guys gonna live. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much the end of the mod review. And if you did enjoy it and want to play this mod for yourself, the link will be... Also, wait, before I end off, before I end off, I forgot something. I mean, come on, guys. You should have stopped me. I forgot something real important. You guys should have said something. But anyways, this requires you to switch to easy, normal, or hard. So I'll put that normal. And this is the Ender Elf. Yes, that is right, people. Look at this guy. I don't... I teleport away. Wow. So this is how it looks right here. I don't want to look at it in the face, but it's pretty much an Enderman in, a, in an elf costume. That's pretty much it. Look at that. It looks cool. So he's going to kill that. And did it just... I think it just teleported away. Whatever. We're cool. We're cool. So finally, it is time to end the mod review. If you want to play this mod for yourself, the link will be in the description. I'll bring it to the forums page where I can download the mod and play for yourself because it's a lot of fun. You get free gifts every single day. And it's loads of fun to play with. So yeah, that's finally the end of the mod review. So if you did enjoy it and want to see next week's Christmas mod review, please leave a like and a subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.